Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs and I am very excited to be putting together this bout tonight. Um, Dmitry Bivol, I have a special affinity for him. I'll explain that as the fight goes on. Also like Sullivan Barrera as well. I, I, I think he's a, he's a very good fighter and um, he is, you know, actually as I'm seeing here, he is 6'2", so we're going to fix that. Don't want to take away um, any advantages that he might that he might have, and um, yeah, let's uh, let's just get right to this. Uh, Dmitry Bivol is 27 years of age, and um, Sylvan Barrera is 35. So right there, um, just you know, simply from from a uh, from a uh, you know from just a, from just an age standpoint, it seems like Bivol. Um, has has kind of something going for him there. Um, have uh, Bivol is six feet tall. Sullivan Barrera is six two. The weight weight's one seventy five. Could not find Bivol's reach, so I kind of guesstimated based on some of the things that I knew about him. And I searched for his reach. Said it was twenty three inches, which twenty three. If you take twenty three and divide it by, it, it just it just it just didn't make sense to me. It just it just didn't make sense. So I, I just sort of, you know, did my best to sort of split the difference. Um, and Sullivan Barrera's, I, he has a 73 centimeter reach, I believe. Um, Dimitri Bivol has 12 fights and zero losses. Sullivan Barrera has 12 fights and one loss. And um, I think this is going to be a very, very good fight. A very, very interesting fight. Uh, the fight scheduled for 12 rounds. Uh, Bivol, um, even though he doesn't have as many fights, is the champion. And that sort of goes into... Um, Goes into what I was what I was going to say um, here. Um, he has got a fight schedule for twelve rounds, three minute rounds, ten point must scoring system, no mandatory eight count, three knockdown rule wave. Let's get to the fight. Dimitri Bivol versus Sullivan Barrera. I'm telling you, I think this is going to be a really good fight, and I think Dimitri Bivol, in my opinion, might be the best light heavyweight in the world. And by that, I mean I think he beats. I think he beats. Um, uh, what's his name, uh, Sergey Kovalev, and, you know, Carl Frock has even intimated that, um, the reason why Sergey, why, um, Andre Ward retired was because of Dmitry Bivol. Now we have Bivol coming out here, and he's sort of not coming out as aggressive as he normally would, but he's been landing his shots, he's been, um, you know, kind of doing that and sort of trying to draw Sullivan Barrera out a little bit. Um, and my name is Evan Jacobs. I don't know if I've said that. You're watching Boxing Time TV. This is a uh, this is a, um, uh, about your scene between Dimitri Bivol on the left side of the screen, Sullivan Barrera on the right, and Bivol's you know being very economical with his with his punches, and he's landing really really well against Sullivan Barrera. And it's going to be interesting to see um, how Sullivan Barrera takes the power of Bivol because Bivol has very very real power. Um, I actually first got introduced to Dimitri Bivol when he fought at the Hangar at the Orange County Fair and Event Center in Costa Mesa, California. I was the only person calling that bout. We were doing it through Periscope, um, and, and I, I was working for the boxing promoter. And so we did the bout um, that he did against uh, Felipe Romero, and I believe he stopped Romero. And, oh, wow, Dimitri Bivol... Um, Getting punched in the ropes by Sullivan Barrera. Barrera, you know, now he's kind of coming on. So it's going to be interesting to see how Dimitri Bivol... This isn't how I expected this fight to begin. I thought Bivol... Because Bivol's a very um, come-forward fighter. Very, um, I, I call him an assassin. Very much in the mold of Julio Cesar Chavez. And he comes, and he keeps coming, and coming, and coming, and just putting that pressure on him. That's what wins him the fight. Um, so anyway, I saw him beat Felipe Romero... I want to say I think that it was in his fourth fight. And I was like, wow, that's odd. And then I saw him fight again in his fifth fight against Clayton Consacal. And I was like, wow. And then, I mean, he just kept rising in the ranks. And I just remember thinking, like, this guy doesn't have a lot of fighters to his credit. And he's badass. And so I was really, really impressed. And the thing is, though, is that the only person, the only coverage you're going to hear of those fights, the Consacal fight and the Romero fight, you have to log into Periscope, go to the Fight Club at Fight Club OC um, uh, page, and um, you can hear me calling those bouts. So it's kind of a thing that I don't know. I, I just feel sort of a kinship with them. And um, so far, this bout's starting off a lot different than I thought that it would. 
I give Sullivan Barrera credit. I believe he may have hurt Dimitri Bivol at one point, but Bivol seems to be getting his bearings about himself, and um, we'll see what the judges say after this kind of awkward first first round. Bivol certainly being more of a counterpuncher, and, and the judge, he had very, very odd. 10-8 um, on one judge's scorecard, 10 nine. So he's behind the Sullivan Barrera. He's behind by four points. And um, the odds were even on this bout. So we are going to see if Dimitri Bivol can can get himself out of this. Um, he goes to the body of Sullivan Barrera. Landing, landing, landing hard. And, um, yeah, this is interesting. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I expected a bit more. Um, you know, I don't know how much the real fight's going to be like this. Um, these simulations have been right as of late in, in, in a lot of ways. Um... So right now you have, um, and so Bivol standing, still being economical, in but and going to the body against Sullivan Barrera, and I don't know, maybe Bivol was waiting in the round, maybe he sort of figured something out in between rounds, but yeah, it is. Uh, this is very very interesting, very very interesting affair, and um, um, yeah, he's he's kind of he's 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 not he's being very economical, which is Bivol usually throws more punches. But, um, yeah, and, and maybe what he's thinking is, is that, you know, pinpoint accuracy, maybe, you know, he knows he's going to be pressed and have to go the distance and he wants to kind of conserve some of that. But he's been the distance before and he's a tough guy and he knows the deal. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure what the sort of apprehensiveness about letting his hands go, but he's going to the body as Sullivan Barrera is jabbing and, um, oh, hits him, hits him with a, hits him with an uppercut. And Bivol again goes to the body, and he seems to try to be breaking Sullivan Barrera down, attempting to. Although Sullivan Barrera is doing pretty good, although Bivol just landed two nice left left hands, two hooks. So we will have to see. And once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. You are watching Boxing Time TV. On the left side of the screen is Dimitri Bivol. On the right is Sullivan Barrera. And um, another thing that I was um, going going to say is. Please like, comment, and subscribe to, to this channel. Please um, share these videos. I want to make this the place to see you know simulated boxing matches on the uh, on the uh, internet. You know we have a we have a bunch in there, and we're really getting ahead of ourselves here because this fight is not until March third. But hey, you know I figure why wait? Why wait? There's no time like the uh, present. And Sullivan Barrera, I give him credit, doing a lot of good work here. Not in any way awed by Bivol, not not showing Bivol too much respect, or really any respect. And, you know, he's a he's a Cuban fighter, and, you know, he is 35 years of age, but very, very good fighter. Very, very, very strong. So we'll have to see what Bivol um, you know, can can do against him. Although Bivol now standing in the center ring, landing, landing his shots while placing his punches very well. I think, you know, the judges are going to probably be kinder to him than they were in the last round, but we will have to see. So both fighters breathing heavy. Two rounds down, and now a 10-round fight. Bivol evening it up on one judge's scorecards, evening it up on another judge's scorecard, and losing it on to Sullivan Barrera. So Bivol is now down by five points. Wow, it's interesting. I did not expect Dimitri Bivol not to show up. Um, we will we will have to see. We will have to see what happens. What happens here? Oh wow. Sullivan Barrera landing, although I think Bivol hits ultimately hits harder than Barrera. That's just my opinion based on the knockout percentages. But then again, Bivol has less fights. Sullivan Barrera almost has 10 more fights. And his level of experience, he's fought Mickey Ward. You know, he's beat Joe Smith. Sullivan Barrera is a solid guy, a solid fighter. And so it's gonna, it's it's you know, it, it, it still kind of remains to be seen as Bivol kind of pot shotting, you know, landing one punch at a time. And I'm I'm sure that that's not by design. I'm sure he'd like to be landing more. Sullivan Barrera is just doing something to make that not be possible at this point. Oh wow! So Sullivan Barrera throwing, throwing, throwing punches. And oh, and, and Bivol landing, Bivol landing, Bivol trying to do certain certain things, 
And, um, you know, I'm, I'm curious about, I, I, I want to go back into the system, and I'm going to do it once this is over. I'm going to go back, depending on how this fight goes, and see just how I made Dimitri Bivol, because I know I would have made him aggressive. I mean, that's, that's just his nature. He is aggressive. He does control the fight. So, so, we, will, so we will have to see. Um, but he's right now getting some distance on his shots. But the problem is he's not landing enough against Sullivan Pereira, who's being a lot busier. And Bivol, you know, showing good, showing good defense. And, you know, Sullivan Barrera doing really well with those long arms and throwing those punches. Landing. Oh, wow, Bivol, Bivol gets hurt to the uh, body. And, uh, yeah, this is, like I said, different than how I thought it would be. And, I mean, I'm not, I don't want to say that I'm rooting for Bivol, but I guess I'm sort of, you know, just feel more of a kinship with him, considering that I called his some of his early bouts. And it's, it's an honor to be able to say that I did that. We may very well be looking at, you know, the best junior, I'm sorry, the best light heavyweight in the world. But he's going to the body. He's, he's going to the body, and he seems to, you know, have something of a plan going, but he's just not letting his hands go. It's just odd. I just thought well, he would have been he would have been in there more. Oh, but look, but he's... Landed two hard shots right there. And now he's showing some better some better defense. Going going to the body. So not a bad round. I could, I could see this being even. Maybe the edge goes to Sullivan Barrera just on volume. And Bivol has a cut on his nose. Very, very interesting state of affairs here for both for both fighters. And them giving it to Sullivan Barrera. So now Dimitri Bivol is down by eight points. This is, you know, like I, like I said, a very, very interesting contest. Bivol comes out now, lands two left hands, and Sullivan Brer just, just going, going to the body, wants to just, wants to just be who he is, economical, and um, yeah, oh, look at that, look at that landing, landing hard, both fighters are trading, and, you know, I sort of feel like how I kind of felt um, about how people were treating um, Felix Trinidad before he fought Fernando Vargas. Everyone, you know, it seemed like everyone thought Trinidad was going to lose to Vargas. It was very odd. It seemed like the whole HBO show, the whole pay-per-view was geared to Vargas. And I'm the whole time thinking, no way. Felix Trinidad beats him. He's, he's, I think he's got a better chin. I think he hits harder. I think there's just so many more intangibles going for, um, going for, uh, uh Felix, Felix Trinidad. And now you have Sullivan Barrera coming in, and you know, hey, he's more experienced, and he's showing Dimitri Bivol things that maybe you know, the, the things that he's maybe never seen as a pro fighter. And like I said, I am curious about how I made Bivol. I know that I. I I'm fairly certain that I made him pretty much tops in every category. But it's, you know, but Sullivan Barrera right now going to the body, putting on a tremendous per performance. And like I said, once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please find me on Instagram at Boxing Time with Evan. That's my handle, Boxing Time with Evan. And you can also um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about fights that you want to see made. Someone hit me up today about doing the Lomachenko Mayweather fight. Um, Probably do that at uh, Walter Wade, or maybe I'll ask them like, how do they want to see it? Lomachenko at his weight, Mayweather at his weight, because that could be that could be very very interesting. Now Bivol is on the ropes and he's tagging Sullivan Barrera. He tagged him twice, um, but you know this is I, I don't think this is where Dimitri Bivol really wants to be at this at this point. Yeah, you know, as you hear that, someone's riding a uh, very fast vehicle near my near my home, and while wow, Solomon Barrera just it's almost target practice. He just had his Bivol on the, the ropes, and you know I wonder if he's made that um, cut on Bivol's no Bivol's nose any worse. Um, this is uh, this is a, just a interesting performance from both fighters. I really thought it was going to be more of just a toe to toe brawl. But like I said, I may have messed up in how I put Bivol into the computer. Oh, Bivol's wobble now. Oh, oh, and 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 yeah, this is just it's this has been Sullivan Bar Barrera's fight. You got to give him this fourth this fourth round. And so so Bivol's tired. Has a cut on his nose. 
And, I mean, I'm not losing faith. He can turn it around against Sullivan Barrera. But yet another round goes to Sullivan Barrera. Sullivan Barrera up by 11 points. And we're going to be at the halfway point, And it's going to be really difficult for Dimitri Bivol to come back. Barrera's jabbing. Jabbing out, just trying to land those shots. And, 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 and you know, maybe, you know, maybe, and, and, and just probably get a stoppage, and he's just crashing those right hands on Dimitri Bivol's face. And I don't know, I don't know at this point what's keep. I mean, Bivol's taken a lot of good shots. I'm surprised he has not gone down, but, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's a tough fighter. Oh, Sullivan Barrera jabbing, trying to set up that right hand. Trying to trying to have more success with it as he keeps landing that left, and he's and he's hurting Dimitri Bivol, and he's got Bivol back into the ropes, and this is right where Sullivan Barrera wants him. Sullivan Barrera keeps him on the ropes. He's going to control the pace. He's going to control the tempo of the fight, and he's going to win this fight. Oh wow. So here is Dimitri Bivol. Dimitri Bivol just trying to land against Sullivan Barrera, trying to land something, and he's just getting tagged for his tagged for his efforts. And you know, Bivol's a tough guy, and 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 I mean, he can turn this around, but this is not nothing like I was expecting. I'm really starting to wonder how I drew him. Um, and I have a, I'm going to go back into this after the fight so everyone can see because I'm not doing anything. I'm not touching any keys. I'm doing nothing. I just set it up and then I put it on simulation and I sit back and I screen record it and I call the fight. And I use uh, QuickTime doing that and it's a very, very simple procedure. No fancy mic as you can probably tell. And, you know, we just keep it going. And Sullivan Barrera just tagging him. You know, and, and, and Sullivan Barrera is a very good boxer. So it just may be that he came in and just took Barrera and Bivol out of the fight. But Bivol from the beginning just seemed to be fighting awkward. And, yeah, and it's just not what what I expected from him. Sullivan Barrera, I give him credit for his defense. I mean, both fighters have been have been tagged. Both fighters have had their moments. But, man, Sullivan Barrera, wow, give him all the credit in the world for what he's doing against Dimitri Bivol. So we have 30 seconds left. Oh, and Bivol crashes a left hand onto the chin of Sullivan Barrera. And now um, Barrera gets him with an uh, uppercut. And you know these two these two guys are are both consummate professionals, well schooled in this game, and that's why we're seeing the kind of fight that we are that we are seeing here. And Barrera just missed with a right hand. It just that, that you know Bivol is out of range to be hit with. So let's see what the judges say now after the fifth. Bivol's tired and has a cut on his nose. They're saying that Sullivan Barrera's tired. The judges, one judge gave it to Dimitri Bivol, one judge gave it to Sullivan Barrera, another judge giving it to Sullivan Barrera. So Barrera's up by um, 12 points as we move now into the sixth, the sixth round. And um, you know, I mean, that's another question. Has Sullivan Barrera overextended himself? Has he has he blown his wad, as they say? And now he's just, you know, now now he's right for the taking. I mean, I don't know. I don't think so. Based on the tenor of this fight, I mean, Bivol's cut. Bivol has not been that active. And, you know, he only got one judge to give him that round. And, you know, it's been all Sullivan Barrera. Sullivan Barrera trying to keep him against the ropes, throwing punches, throwing uppercuts. And these two guys, oh wow, look at that. Look at that right hand landed by Dimitri, landed by Dimitri Bivol. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I, I, I just, I'm, I'm wondering if this was by design and maybe Bivol's going to start coming on after the sixth round. But Barrera's tagging him right right here. And I, I give Bivol's credit, um, credit to his cut man. Uh, that cut on his nose has not gotten that much worse. And Sullivan Barrera's landing when he can land. And and he seems to just be negating a lot of what Dimitri Bivol wants to uh, do. It's just a lot of punches being thrown by Barrera as he attempts to back up Bivol. He lands a right hand, a pole-axing right hand on Dimitri Bivol. 
Bivol, Bivol takes it fairly, fairly well. Oh wow, so, so Sullivan Barrera jabbing and, 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 and Bivol going to the body and I mean, that's the thing is, Bivol, is he breaking him down? But he's not landing enough to really to to kind of make that string offensive. And these two guys are just jabbing and, 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 and landing when they landing when they can. It's just this is sort of a a very ugly, beautiful technical fight. It's it's the best way that I can describe it. And we're almost halfway through at this six round point. And oh, Dimitri Bivol landing, landing, landing with an uppercut, never you know, he, he still wants to remain in this fight. He's still, you know, I, I, I don't know if he knows where he is or has an idea where he is on the scorecards. But, I mean, Sullivan Barrera is 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 right now, you know, he, he just has to... Oh, oh, Sullivan Barrera is hurt by Dimitri, by Dimitri Bivol. Wow! What an odd turn of, a turn of events here as Dimitri Bivol was hanging back and landing the shots that he needed to land. And... and I mean, I mean, um, and he was—he just wobbled Sullivan Barrera. Is that a harbinger of things to come? They're saying that Barrera's obviously tired. They're saying that Bivol's tired. One judge giving that to Bivol, another judge giving it to Barrera, another judge going to give it to Bivol. So Bivol, maybe slowly. Now he's only 11 points behind. Is he eking it back? This is now a six-round fight. And did the, and did the Dimitri Bivol land on Sullivan Barrera in such a way that that now the tenor of the fight? Oh, oh. Oh, Sullivan Barrera hurting Dimitri Bivol, hurting him with that left hand, and 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 this is uh, this is was that just one glimmering moment of hope for Dimitri Bivol, or did he find something? Man, but Sullivan Barrera was hurt, and just Dimitri Bivol just couldn't put his punches together. So yeah, this is. Uh, Continuing to go, we have we have we have six more rounds. We're now in the seventh, and Dimitri Bivol is is just is you know is is trying to find something. He wants to land those punches again. He hits hard. He he hurts Sullivan Barrera, but the question is, is he going to become a one punch fighter and spend the rest of the fight searching for that magic again? While Sullivan Barrera just runs the numbers and takes a decision. Oh, right hand by Dimitri Bivol, and. I mean, he can still win on points, Bivol. I mean, he's got to just string rounds together. It's just that simple. He's got to string some rounds together and, and, and you know, make this more kind of make this more competitive. And, you know, he's showing good defense. He's showing an ability to land on Sullivan Barrera. The question is, is it going to ultimately be enough? We're on the half, we're on the halfway point. As the uh, as the round is coming down at this at this point, and you know I I don't think that Dimitri Bivol really built on what he did at the end of that round. Oh, Bivol's wobbled! Oh, wobbled! And he's going to be dropped now by Sullivan Barrera. Wow, this is nothing that I expected from this from this fight. And, and Bivol's hurt. Bivol's hurt. Oh, and he gets up and he gets up, and I give him all the credit in the world for getting for getting up. But man, Sullivan Barrera just. Just showing tenacity, just showing skill, just showing poise, and he hits Dimitri Bivol with an uppercut. And I'm, I'm telling you, in my mind, I thought Bivol was going to come in and put on a and put on a tremendous performance. And you know, he's had his moments here and he's had his moments there, but he just got dropped hard by Sullivan Barrera, and Sullivan Barrera has him has him half hurt, he has him bloodied, and it's the kind of thing. That you know that the that I'm sure the ref and everyone's gonna be taking a close look because um, they don't want anyone really getting hurt in there. Once again, uh, my name is Evan Jacobs. You're watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these videos. Direct message me or email me or text me on YouTube. Let me know the fights that you want to see me make. Let's see what the judges say now after that in the seventh round in which Bivol was dropped. Bivol, Bivol's tired, so as it cut in his nose. Wow, Sullivan Barrera going to get this round 10-8 on all three judges' scorecards, I bet. And now Bivol is really behind. Dimitri Bivol is behind by 27 points. And wow, that that is, this is, uh, 
I may have been calling that wrong too, just because I was looking at Bivol and looking at what Sullivan Barrera is doing, and and man, Bivol just, you know, he just has not let his hands go, and Sullivan Barrera is taking full advantage of this, taking full advantage, and and he would love to get a stoppage, but Sullivan Barrera's got to be careful. He's been badly wobbled, and Dimitri Bivol, you know, is a, is is a knockout fighter, and and he can land in such a way that he could. Start Sullivan Barrera. Maybe he'll do that in a real fight. Right now, we have a very interesting fight here, although it looks like this is pretty much Sullivan Barrera locking it up. Oh, oh, no, and he wobbles Bivol, Bivol again. And, um, wow, this is just not what I, not what I expected. Um, I went as honest as I possibly could, tried to keep this, you know, I didn't make Sullivan Barrera, you know, I made him an average hitter just based on the amount of KOs that he has. But it's been enough for him here tonight against Dimitri Bivol. Oh man. So right now, Sullivan Barrera just just you know just having his way with Dimitri Bivol in, in a in the fighting capacity and it's going to be interesting to see where this where this goes from here. Oh wow, just landing just a succession of shots. Landing a succession of shots as uh, Sullivan Barrera really making an emphatic statement here against Dimitri Bivol. Oh, oh, and now Bivol just you know lunging in, coming forward, and Sullivan Barrera counter punching him. Sullivan Barrera, 35 years old. This is a career best performance in my in my opinion. And his only loss is to Andre Ward. So you got to give, you know, Sullivan Barrera credit. He seems to have learned from that. And you know, we're going to um, you know, we're we're just moving along in this fight. Sullivan Barrera, you know, Bivol land is, is is landed a few times. He's able to string some things together, but it's not affecting Sullivan Barrera. Oh, and going to the body is Sullivan Barrera going, going, going to the uh, body and, and just hitting Dimitri Bivol. And Bivol now throwing more punches, but it's just, you know, it seems to not be enough. And, and Sullivan Barrera kind of has this figured out and he's kind of gotten into a rhythm. And it's going to be up to Dimitri Bivol to see just how great can he be. Can those body shots that he's trying to land, can he do enough to hurt Sullivan Barrera? Oh, lands a left hand. Lands a left hand, and look, anything can happen in the sport. Dimitri Bivol has four rounds, and now, oh, Sullivan Barrera has a cut in his nose. And let me tell you something, if that cut gets worse and it gets stopped, it's going to go to Dimitri Bivol, who lost that round. But wow, Sullivan, so now behind by 20 points is Dimitri Bivol. Oh, wow, wow, Dimitri Bivol just taking some shots from Sullivan Barrera, but but you never know. You never know if Dimitri Bivol. Oh, now and now he's landing. So, you know, this is a situation in which both fighters are have been hurt, and or, and they they you know Sullivan Barrera clearly ahead ahead by twenty points. Bivol needs probably a knockout at this at this juncture. Oh oh, and he lands a right hand on Sullivan Barrera. And that may have been enough to open up the cut over Barrera's eye. Maybe it gets stopped in the next round and Dimitri Bivol wins this. That would be incredible. It would, it would show just the tenacity that he has, how he's hung in there. But you've got to give Sullivan Barrera all the credit in the world. He has fought a really good fight. It doesn't seem to be really breaking down, but you just never know. You just never know. Oh, oh now he's landing two shots. Oh, three shots in a row from Dimitri Bivol. Wow, he is... He, you know, is turning it up when he needs to. He's doing the things that he needs to do to to make this as competitive as possible, and. Um, so Bivol right now going and going with the high defense. Sullivan Barrera throwing throwing shots as he as he as he you know as he's trying to as he's trying just to keep this going. And you have Dim, you have Dimitri Bivol just just showing defense and trying to be a surgeon in there. Both fighters trying to you know you would have thought that with the way that Sullivan Barrera has been landing, you would have 
opened up that cut on Bibble's nose more, but it just doesn't seem to be the case. And and now we have Bib the Dimitri Bibble against the ropes. He's taking some shots, and both fighters they're saying are tired. As we're gonna head now into the championship rounds after this, should we get out of this round? It's looking like it's looking like we will. But there goes Dimitri Bivol again, not throwing punches, not giving himself the best possible chance to win. And Sullivan Barrera, um, Sullivan Barrera just just staying from a distance, throwing, throwing, throwing his shots. Oh wow. Landing a, landing a right hand is Dimitri Bivol. I'm sorry, is Sullivan Barrera, Bivol taking it. And yeah, it seemed like for a moment there, Biv you know, Bivol really you know could have come on, and and it just seemed like Sullivan Barbera has gotten back into his rhythm, gotten more comfortable, and that's what it's going to take for him to to take this round probably over Dimitri Bivol. But knowing me, they're probably going to give it to. Well, they both have cuts on their nose, so now Sullivan Barrera taking yet another round, and Dimitri Bivol at this point needs a needs a needs a knockout. He is behind by 23 points. And, you know, hey, I give him all the credit in the world for hanging in there. I give him all the credit in the world for landing the way that he's landed. I mean, he potentially could open up that cut on Sullivan Barrera. I just don't see it. I just don't see it happening. And now both fighters kind of looking to land shots. Don't really want to take too many chances. But we have three more rounds to go. The uh, championship round, rounds 10, 11, and 12. And Dimitri Rival really not doing much of anything right now. And his corner, you know, could very conceivably maybe stop it, depending on depending on how things are going. Oh, oh, and Bivol's wobbled now. Bivol wobbled. And um, Barrera going to the body. Those were two really hard shots to the head and some body shots. And and but Bivol still lands on Sullivan Barrera. Oh, and a body shot. And I'm thinking the idea, because this bout is on the undercard of the Sergei Kovalev, Igor McHalkin Mc, Mc, fight. Um, maybe the idea is that the winner of those fights, then they fight each other. I, I, I don't know that that's a pay-per-view thing, but it's certainly an HBO fight. Um, once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe to these videos. Please share them. Tell your friends. Let me know if there's bouts that you want to see. Direct message me or email me or... Text me or whatever you need to do in order to see the content that you want to see here from Boxing Time TV. Right now, um, we have these fights coming up. Um, I, I think I'm going to do next uh, Danny Garcia versus Brandon Rios. And then um, after that, probably Carl Frampton versus Nonito Donaire. And then um, after that, I'd like to do um, Jorge, uh, Jorge Linares versus Luis Gesta. And Dylan White versus Lucas Big Daddy, Big Daddy Brown. Oh man, these guys are punch output has really gotten slow. These guys, these guys are tired, and this it can make for these computer bouts hard to watch, you know, because it's uh, you know it's it's just it's just not as exciting as maybe you want it to be. But take heart in the fact that after this, there's only two rounds, and if one of these fighters is really bloody, if they have a bloody nose because both of their noses are cut, this bout could be stopped. Although right now it looks like. Sullivan Bar Barrera is going to take a decision over Dimitri Bivol. Bivol could have a chance to let his punches come more. He just has not been as active as he needs to be. <clears throat> Sullivan Bar Barrera jabbing and just... Taking this over, Dimitri Bivol landed a hard right hand there. And we're going to see the 11th round now. We have the 11th and 12th, and then this is over. Bivol has a bloody nose. I can see them stopping it, although one judge giving it to Bivol, another judge making it even, and another judge giving it to Sullivan Barrera. It's all academic at this point scoring-wise, as it appears that Sullivan Barrera is going to beat Dimitri Bivol. Sullivan so Barrera just throwing a lot of punches. Probably just one wants to get the ref to stop it. Probably the ref to take a closer look. And Bivol, his nose is bloody. And maybe that's how something that happened early in the fight. Maybe Bivol just got hit. And maybe 
Um, yeah, he, he had a, a, you know, his, he's been bleeding inside his nose and swallowing a lot of blood. And, oh, man, he's just getting pummeled right now by Sullivan Barrera. And, you know, it's it's the kind of thing that Bivol, you know, he if he was throwing more punches, if he was able to, but there's just an onslaught from Sullivan Barrera. And that's just what we're, that's just what we're seeing here. And I don't know why they don't stop it. Bivol's behind, he's getting hit, he's hurt, he's been, he just was wobbled badly. And I mean, it's something that they just should stop. It's, 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 it's not going to, you know, it will say, it'll prolong Dimitri Bivol's career probably because he's taking a shot looking right now. Um, he, even though Sullivan Barrera for the moment seems to have his punch output sort of stopped. Right hand from Dimitri Bivol. Oh, and Bivol goes into the ropes. Dimitri Bivol going into the ropes. And and we're just oh and an uppercut from Sullivan Barrera. He's he's landing hard. He's landing fast. And uh, he's he's putting a exclamation point on us. I mean I'm sure it could be a bit prettier. This has been sort of a, an ugly, technical, bloody kind of affair. And Bivol, he is Bivol to the body. And, you know, I, I think Dimitri Bivol, at this point, there's a minute left in this round. I don't think he needs to come out for the 12th. I think that they could stop it. They're not going to. Oh, and just a body shot by Sullivan Barrera. Oh, and Dimitri Bivol landing a, landing a, right, landing a right hand and... and Trying, maybe hoping to see if he can do something against Sullivan Barrera. But it, it, this fight pretty much has been all Sullivan Barrera, save for a moment, I think, in the fifth or sixth round when he was wobbled. This has been all Sullivan Barrera. And you got to give him a lot of credit because people like myself thought, oh, you know, you know Bivol would probably beat him. And I'm, I'm wrong, you know, and I will freely admit it. When I am, when I am wrong, I have no problem. I have no problem admitting it, and I was wrong. And, you know, at least so far, we'll see what happens in the 12th round. It looks like Bivol is going to come out for that. Um, and so we're going to see what the judges say, but I'm sure that Sullivan Barrera won that won that round. They're saying that Bivol has a bloody nose. Wow, it's even on one judge's scorecards. One judge gives it to Sullivan Barrera, 10-8. Another judge, 10-8. Just more of a point deficit for Dimitri Bivol as we begin the 12th round. And can, you know... These fighters string something together. I've still not lost faith in either of them scoring a knockout. And that might sound crazy considering what we've seen Sullivan Barrera, the way he's been able to negate Dimitri Bivol. Oh, right hand from, from Dimitri Bivol. Oh, and an, oh, 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 and an uppercut. Sullivan Barrera, Sullivan Barrera, this is, uh, you know, he, 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 I mean, he could lose this round. He just has to be standing up at the end of this. If I'm Dimitri Bivol, I've got to, he's got to go for broke. He's got to go for broke because Sullivan Barrera is, 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 is so far ahead now as we move in to the 12th, to, to the, oh, um, to the final two minutes of this, the 12th round. My name is Evan Jacobs. You've been watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with friends. I want to make this a hub for, you know, the biggest hub for simulated fights. I think this is kind of unique. There's a lot of conjecture on the internet. This actually shows you a fight, gives you something to kind of to kind of talk about. And I'm, like I said, I'm not doing anything. You can hear me clapping my hands. Um, I'm just, you know, watching like, like you guys and gals are. And like I said, if there's fights you want to see, please direct message me. Um, and yeah, oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, Dimitri Bivol wobbles Sullivan Barrera. Whoa. Oh, man, we could be seeing something here. Can Dimitri Bivol pull something together? Can he pull something together against Sullivan Barrera? I mean, what, I mean, you got to give Dimitri Bivol a lot of credit. He is, for a guy with only 12 fights, putting on such a solid performance. Wow. He had Sullivan Barrera hurt. This is driving Sullivan Barrera to take more risks, and there's a minute left in this bout, and I, I, I don't think Dimitri Rival is going to do it. I think it's, it's Sullivan Barrera is going to get the decision, but man, it would be interesting if he did. Oh.
Oh yeah, I'm like you can hear me. I'm tired. I'm tired, but I'm but I'm I'm in this till the end, and I'm like Dimitri Bivol, man. I'm hanging on, and Bivol had him hurt. Give Bivol credit if he just want to let his hands go more in this fight. He 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 could maybe be in a better spot right now. Oh, and he lands hard on Sullivan Barrera. He lands really really. Oh, he lands a left hand. Oh wow, he lands a left hand, and we're in the final 10, 10 seconds. And if I'm Sullivan Barrera, I just back off. No, he can, whatever. If he loses this round, it's not going to matter. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say he, he, wonderful performance by Sullivan Barrera. I thought Dimitri Ribal was going to do it. Got to give Sullivan Barrera the Cuban boxer. The fighter with eight years of, I even spoke about the age in the beginning. I thought that might be more of a factor. Sullivan Barrera turned back time, fought terrifically in this fight. And I'm going to show you guys how I built Dimitri Ribal just to make sure that I did not mess up here. So I'm writing their scorecards. The, um, Sullivan Barrera winning by a decision. Um, it's uh, Sullivan Barrera by unanimous decision. The fight lasted 12 rounds. Bivol was knocked down one time and has a bloody nose. Barrera was knocked down, was not knocked down, and has a cut on his nose. Uh, Dimitri Bivol lost on, by six points on one judge's scorecards, 11 points on another judge's scorecard, and 11 points on another judge's scorecard. Um, give him all the credit in the world for hanging in there. I'm going to look at Dimitri Bivol, how I build him. Okay, so 27-0. As you can see, all those stats are good. Um, right hand said that he hit hard. So I should get tired in the last round. Warmed up and fighting his best in the first round. Um, absorbs a hard punch without showing a reaction. Goes for a knockout when his opponent is stunned. Is able to defend against his opponent's punches. Hits his opponent when he throws a punch. Okay. Um, aggressive and controls the fight. I probably should have made that almost always, but even still, throws fast punches almost always. His cutter injured almost never. I put almost never, and he still got cut. So, um, yeah, I don't know that um, the whole aggressive thing would have mattered, but I'd like to thank you all once again for watching Boxing Time TV. What a tremendous fight. What a great fight. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please follow me on Instagram, Boxing Time with Evan. Please like, comment, and subscribe.